All right, so it's the morning after. Cheese died. Sobbing over a fish, because that's me right now. I'm full on crying, ugly crying. I'm ugly crying over a fish. Um, losing pets is so hard. Still sucks, still hurts. I thought it was a dream when I woke up, so I was very disappointed to find out it wasn't a dream and that he is very dead in my freezer. My friend that works at the fish shop who helped me with the fluconazole treatments recommended, jokingly, maybe he wasn't joking, either way, he recommended that I did a Viking funeral for cheese. If you guys don't know what Viking funerals are, um, I don't know every piece of it, like the history of it, but I do know you put the deceased on a small boat, you ship them out into the sea, and then you throw a bow and arrow at them and set fire to them. I think I'm gonna skip that last part because I do want to retrieve the body and cremate him and maybe like wear him around my neck or something. This is a weird video. But I do wanna do the first part where like in a confined body of water, put him on a little boat and have a little ceremony for my fish because I loved him. And he deserves better than to be flushed down the toilet or uh, just put in the backyard where birds are gonna eat him. So we're gonna give him a real funeral. A funeral for a king, for a god. So yeah, I'm gonna drive to Hobby Lobby right now and look for a small boat because I felt like, I don't know, I felt like Hobby Lobby might have a small boat. Like, just something that floats in the water that resembles a boat that can fit my fish on it. So, um, okay, let's go. <laughs> you should see cheese in a crowd. If Um, I'm here. Gonna go try to find a boat for my fish to float off to sea and my life is weird. Okay, I'm on the aisle with like the cars and stuff because I thought maybe, you know, cars aren't that far from boats. <laughs> but I'm not seeing any boats. Oh my God. This is perfect. Do I just have to like build it? I don't read that. It's gonna be so easy to build, it's all in German. Instructions will be a piece of cake. I need a backup in case this doesn't even work. Okay, completely off topic, but I really wanna know why these sticks are not recommended for children under 14 years. You're gonna tell me a 13 year old's gonna like shove this in their eye or something? So, I found a lot of different things that we could use for, what is on my, what is that? Found a lot of different things that we could use for it. The funny thing though is I couldn't I couldn't decide which way I wanted this to go. I didn't get the Viking boat because it was literally in German. I didn't know how, I don't know how to set it up. Okay, I am funeral ready. I was debating wearing all yellow for cheese, but like everything I had that was all yellow was like a crop top and it's super cold, so I feel like cheese would want me to be warm. So I'm wearing black, and um, I'm going to a random pond. Hopefully this is legal to do. Um, if not, I don't really think there could be serious charges for floating a boat across a tiny pond with a fish in it. If there are serious charges, oh, that's ridiculous. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so I found the pond, but it says very clearly here, no fishing, no swimming or boating, but it's fine because I'm not fishing or boating, I'm putting a fish on a boat and then I might have to walk into the water to retrieve it, but it's fine. On the branch, over here, look, right there. Ooh. Okay, so if you don't wanna see dead cheese, this is where you turn your vid the video off because he's gonna be dead and he's gonna be on this video. If I get in trouble for this, at least it'll be an interesting reason to get in trouble for a fish funeral. But okay, if you don't wanna see him, look away. Oh, he's all, he's all cold. Okay, now I'm going to uh, give him items that resemble who he is. He has little fishies going with him. Is that a snake? No, that's an eel. I don't know why I got feathers, but I got feathers. I feel like, I don't know, that's something you do. Like, ooh, look. So I gotta decide right now, like, if this floats away, do I just let it go? Oh. Like, do I, cause there's a chance, it's a little windy. So do I just leave cheese floating here? <laughs> I think that's why they set it on fire in real life. But you're supposed to like, let him go out and then set it on fire. Okay, how about if I put him over there and I push it this way and then I pick him up right there? <laughs> if, if he goes out, you can't get in, it's freaking cold. Yeah, I hate it so much. It's, it's really sad, but I love him. He got a little chilly being in the freezer, but it's fine. Oh, I have to put seaweed on him. Oh wait, I forgot. Dory, 
Okay, <laughs> seaweed was his favorite, so we're gonna sprinkle this in seaweed. It's the only thing that kept him going. No, just kidding. Hopefully more than that kept him going in life. He really did like seaweed, so we're, we're going all out with the seaweeds. He'll never be without it. This is going with him into the afterlife. Feathers, random fish to have friends with. I don't really understand the feathers, but they looked cute other fish that he could be friends with and loads of seaweed now traditionally they normally put like a little veil over them so i got this weird little thing and i'm gonna just make it the little veil this is the weirdest thing i've ever done in my life I'm so i got him a little veil see that i was gonna put him in that yeah it was gonna be his little coffin i don't know if he's gonna fit in this but we'll try oh he actually does fit Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. I'll actually, I'll do a poll on Twitter and be like, do you guys want me to blur cheese out for the video? And if they say yes, I'll just blur them out, but. No, try to, <laughs> no. I'm like actually crying. I don't know if this is insulting to Vikings, but it's what I'm doing, I'm sorry. It's a seaweed Oh my flag. God, it's a flag! Oh! Let go. <laughs> okay, let's see if it'll stay. Um. Okay, so now I'm Going to ship little cheese off, I guess, into the ocean. I'm pond. <laughs> but then I'm going to retrieve his body so we can cremate him. So, yeah. Now we put him in the little water and we say some nice words. Hopefully this boat even floats. Okay, it does. Okay, um, nice words time. Um, quotes, let's see. Oh, he's going out there. Um, fish your friends, not food. That was my first quote I thought of, I'm sorry. Was really nice and handsome. Yeah. And Friendly. Yes. I'm trying to think of some like inspirational quotes to talk about he as he goes out there. He was a good, good dude. Wow. Why am I so bad at this? Um, there's, there's a quote by Winnie the Pooh that was like, how lucky am I to have had something that's so hard to lose? I don't know. Rest Cheese is good. Uh, I'm never safe. That's bad. Rest in seaweed. W rest in seaweed, my dude. He's going a little far. I have to go get him. Inspirational music. cheese um yes i do know that they are venomous or uh, not venomous poisonous i'm not really worried about that so don't worry about that guys super adorable he's one of the first fish i've ever wanted so i'm super happy to get him he will be going in my 150 gallon tank at this age he's gonna be okay in my 30 until my 150 is set up he's so cute he's literally a freaking box like my fish is a square who who Now also, since I just turned the lights on, cheese is looking a little moldy. Food goes in. Oh, I'm sorry, cheese. Cheese? No. Thanks for the memories. Like when you stung me and it itched. So I rolled in the corals. Or when you stole my food. Or when I stole yours. Goodbye, cheese. This is better than Twilight. I think he's doing just fine. He's, he's eating. He's like, there's food in here. I'm good. Literally all he cares about is the food. He was in a 29 gallon tank and now he's in 150 and all he cares about is hovering around the food. Really, Cheese? God, I would include that though. I would not. I wouldn't delete it. It'd be morbid, but like, if a if a bird swooped down and picked up. Oh, he's circling again. I love you, cheese. Um, thanks for being a really good friend to me. Um, okay, so thank you to Cheese for bringing everyone so much happiness. 
and making, I really like, my favorite thing probably about him, I mean obviously he was a really good friend to me even though he was a fish, he was a really good friend to me, but my favorite thing was I love kids. I adore children and just the fact that he made so many kids so happy. I remember when I went to Pet Fest and um, there were so many little kids like taking pictures with the little fake cheese, like the cardboard cheese and like they had all his like merch on and they were quoting him and it was adorable. I cried so many times seeing how many kids were just so happy over my fish and I think that, I mean that makes this all this crappy stuff like the sad part of this all worth it because he made so many kids so happy so that makes me really happy and I love him and he was a really good friend to me every time I went out in the living room he chased me around when he was a little tiny I remember when I first brought him home I thought he was cute but I didn't know he would be the way that he was and I remember he was following me around the tank the day I brought him home and I was like okay this dude he's a cool fish like there's something to him he just had personality in his, in his eyes so I'm really happy I got to experience him and I'm really happy you guys got to experience him with me he's floating out to the pond now so I need to go get him the seaweed flags a little it's going down but it's fine you you lower the flag when someone dies that's what it is I just thought yeah I totally meant for the flag to do that for like fallen soldiers you lower the flag I, again I don't know if any of this is so offensive to people but I'm sorry I loved my fish okay let me have this one, okay? Okay, um, I'm actually, I thought it was a lot later than it was. It's only 6.30, so I'm gonna call some vets and see if they could do necropsies for... Jeez. Hi, I have a very weird question for you. Um, I was curious if you knew of any place that would do a necropsy on a fish. I am not sure. Let me, let me ask my coworker. Okay. Me Thank you. They're like, why? <laughs> this is the worst hold music ever. So one of my coworkers is gonna ask a doctor she used to work with. Okay. Um, is it okay if we call you back? Yeah, absolutely, no worries. Okay, what's your number? It's of course, it's fine. Yeah. Bye. She's probably really confused about why I would want a necropsy on a fish, but we're doing this, we are doing it. Hopefully. Also, other thing I want to look up, ashes. I want to get cheese cremated and I want to wear them around my neck until the day I die. So, we're going to look up how to turn him into a little necklace. We are going to look up where to get a fish. Guess this is not a popular search term. <laughs> oh my god, there's videos of how people do it themselves. No, 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 no. I am, I couldn't even finish the Viking funeral. There is no way I'm just setting him on fire in a bucket. My God. Gonna look at all this crap. Oh, they're calling back. Hello. Hi, my name is Madeline. Um, I was calling from Town and Country. I have a pathologist on the other line. He's wondering what kind of fish. Oh, it's a cowfish. A cowfish? Yes, longhorn cowfish. Okay. <laughs> One moment. No worries. It's a god. What if I said that? Ugh. I'm cringing at myself. Thank you for holding. So I just got off the phone with the pathologist. His company or his business actually does. Um, so you could bring the baby here. Okay. Um, you know, just pay for a hold fee. And, well, it's a, it's a fish. Maybe like <laughs> $25 um, hold feet because we're gonna have to, you know, preserve him. Yeah. And then they will come by and pick up in the morning. We'll give him all of your information. Okay. Um, it's slightly cheaper than a normal necropsy. It would be about a hundred fifty dollars. Okay. Um, so if you were interested in that, you could drop the baby off tonight. Okay. We would do, you know, that, and then he would pick up in the morning, and then they would call you, or they would give us the results, and then um, they would call you and then charge you through there okay um last weird question is there any way do you know if they could return or something i want to end up getting it cremated so <laughs> yeah no so what they can do is after the um the uh, necropsy they can mm -hmm. probably return it back to us and we can send it to paul's in heaven okay that would work okay so okay um should i come by tonight then for that or yeah, I okay. would bring your baby in as soon as possible. Okay, well, I'll get in the car right now then. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. We're getting him cremated. 
This is probably the hardest part for me. Like I'm already crying right now because they told me that they can do this. They told me that I can bring him right now to go get sent off to do the necropsy. But that literally means this is going to be the last time I ever see him. Because after the necropsy, they are going to send him right off to be cremated. And then I'll just get his ashes. So this is literally it this time. You know, funeral. And then all this. This is really the last time I'm going to see him. So it's really hard. Even though he's a fish. <laughs> but we're going to do it. We're going to go drive over there right now and get this done with. Whew. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We're here, so this is the last time I'm ever gonna see cheese. Um, I have him in here, making sure he's still cold, and yeah, we're just gonna go in now and hand him over, I guess. <laughs> I love you, little buddy. <laughs> we have paid. It's $140, but that's not including the actual necropsy. It's just including the cremation, which is one of the things that was $115 and then $25 for the body hold and basically they're holding the body for me and the company that's doing the necropsy or necropsy however you say it is um picking him up in the morning so I just had to pay $25 for them to keep him on ice <laughs> until morning and then that company is going to take him do the necropsy and then call me and let me know what they found and what it's going to cost and everything pay for that then they send him back here and then this place sends them off sends him off to be cremated. So he's going all over the world today. But it's fine. Not all over the world. All over town. It's fine. His body is Ooh, I'm going to sh shut up now. Okay.